This is the Gig Lab. The doctor is in. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ and you're in the Gig Lab. This time I wanted to talk about one of my favorite fixtures, the 4-bar. For any of you that have seen any of my videos, you know I'm a 4-bar freak. I absolutely love this fixture, especially for mobile entertainers and especially for mobile DJs. It just doesn't get any more convenient or easy than the 4-bar. Four par fixtures already pre-mounted to one single bar that goes on the stand that's included with it. It comes with a carrying case, it comes with a foot switch, easy up, easy down, doesn't get any better than that. And we have a number of different fixtures that are in the four bar family. Those are the four bar, like you see here, the mini four bar 2.0, the four bar flex, the four bar tri, and the core bar four. Now of all of these in the four bar family, there are two of these that have a slightly di different design that uh, can sometimes be a little confusing when you're trying to manually enter in options to get to the different modes on the fixture itself. So I kind of wanted to walk you through that. Those two fixtures that have the different design are the four bar and the four bar flex. You'll notice they only have three buttons in their LED menu. So if you look at the back, there's only three buttons here. When a lot of people are used to four buttons, one of those usually being an enter button so you can actually select your option. So let's take a closer look at the four bar. So because there is no fourth button here, no enter button, the easiest way to think about the menu system on the four bar and the four bar flex is to think of the options in a hierarchy system with the modes of the fixture being at the top level of that hierarchy. And on the four bar, the modes are auto programs, which you can see we have set to here. We have sound activation, and we also have DMX. So if I'm in auto here, I wanna to get to say, for instance, I wanna to get to DMX. I need to get to that highest level of menu options. And always keep in mind to do, get to that highest level, I'm gonna press the menu button twice. So I'm going to hit this twice, and I'm going to hit up for my DMX channels. Um, now there are two different DMX personalities available for the four bar. One is the three channel and 15 channel. If I let it sit, it will automatically default to the late last option that I had displayed, which was the 15 channel personality. Now you can see that I'm in DMX mode on channel one. If I want to change the channel, I'm going to hit the menu button one time because I'm not changing modes out of DMX mode. I just want to get to the next level in the hierarchy of menu options, which is addressing. So that goes to A, and I'm immediately going to either press down or up. So I want to change this to DMX channel 10, address 10, let it sit, and you can see that now it's DMX 10. Whenever you let a menu option sit for a couple seconds, that's what it sets to. And you can see now it's set, and if I press up or down, it's not changing. So say for instance, I want to now change this to sound activation mode. Now, because I am changing modes, I want to get back to that highest hierarchy level of menu options, and I'm going to hit the menu button twice. And I'm going to hit the down button, and there is sound. And I'm just going to let it sit, and now the light is changing and of course you can adjust the sensitivity here with the sensitivity knob for your sound activation if i want to go back to auto now i'm going to go back to the highest hierarchy level on the menu by hitting the menu button twice i'm going to hit the down button and now i'm in auto now we can change the speed of the auto programs and again, just like we changed the DMX channel, we're not going to the highest hierarchy menu level, we're going to the next level in this option, which is going to be speed. So I'm gonna hit the menu button once. And now I can change the speed, either down or up. The interesting thing about the four bar is that the level one on the speed option actually is the fastest speed where you might be used to that being the slowest speed and going from one to a hundred. On the four bar, it's opposite, and the speed actually starts in the fastest way on level one. So 
Again, if I want to go to DMX, I'm going to the highest level of menu options by hitting the menu button twice. And I'm going to hit either three channel or 15 channel, let it sit. And now I'm in DMX mode. Again, if I want to change the channel, change the DMX address, I'm going to go to address and either up or down. Let that sit and that's my new DMX address. The sound active mode and the auto modes are the down button and the DMX mode is the up button. So if I, again, if I want to go to the auto program, I'm going to the highest level by hitting the menu twice and I'm hitting the down button to go to auto. And now I'm in auto mode. It's not so confusing once you get the hang of it and sort of get that system of hierarchy levels of menu options in your mind. And then it becomes really easy to operate. So with the ease of the setup and takedown, and once you get the menu options with three buttons instead of four, the four bar can't be beat in terms of mobile convenience. This is Jeff Short, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here in the Gig Lab.